Meanwhile, there are new questions this morning about whether Herschel Walker actually lives in the state he's trying to represent in the United States Senate. Walker does own a home in northwest Atlanta, but there's new reporting from the Daily Beast showing Walker's wife collected tens of thousands of dollars in rental income for that residence between 2020 and 2021. That's according to his financial disclosure forms. The Daily Beast points out the rental income suggests the Walkers not only had been not living in Georgia before his campaign, but had not used the home in Georgia for anything but a passive cash stream. Walker also has a home in the Dallas area and has lived there for many, many years. According to CNN, tax records show Walker is set to receive a homestead tax exemption worth $1,500 for a $3 million home in the suburbs of Dallas. To qualify for that tax break in Texas, the home must be the owner's primary residence, meaning living there most of the time in Texas. Records show Walker bought that property in 2011 and has claimed the exemption there in Texas since 2012. Technically, Walker does not actually need to live in Georgia while running for one of its U.S. Senate seats. The Constitution only requires senators to reside in the state they re represent after they are elected. Joe, there's also some reporting from uh, CNN this morning that uh, Herschel Walker has conducted some of his interviews and even campaign events over Zoom from his home in Texas. <laughs> Where have we heard this before? Mike Barnacle, my, you know, you get a guy from Jersey who votes in Turkey to run in Pennsylvania. How does that play in Williamsport? Scranton? Not well. Not well at all. And then you get a guy from Dallas, Texas running to be senator in the state of Georgia. How's that going to play? I mean, again, this is, this is all Donald Trump. I, I mean, Donald Trump destroyed the, the, but the Republican. the party could have known this. Couldn't, they, couldn't the party have figured this yeah, out they could have figured about it. this candidate? They could have. But, you know, um, again, you, you have to look at the voters who Trump said vote for Herschel Walker. They voted for Herschel Walker. Trump said vote for Dr. Oz. They voted for Dr. Oz. I mean, Trump said vote for Blake Masters. They voted for Blake Masters. Loss, 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 Mike. And here you have, again, you got Herschel Walker in Georgia from Texas, you know, replaying the, the Dr. Oz uh, game plan. You know, if you take one step backward from this story, one step backward from the heat of a campaign and the rapid approach and climax of a special election next Tuesday, this is a very sad story. <laughs> one person... Herschel Walker was selected by a very few numbers of people for a seat in the United States Senate, once a glorious and fabled institution, now tarnished by really terrible politics over the last decade and a half. But Herschel Walker specifically, he has many challenges. Uh, he has verbal challenges. He has mental challenges. He has challenges that are visible to anyone who sees him or watches him perform on a stage. And yet this man has been both used and abused by a political process that doesn't care one whit about him as a human being. Nope. Mm -hmm. Not one. And that's, that's really a tragic story that we're watching here. And think about all the yeah. family baggage that has now been unearthed for Walker, now in public display. He'll always yeah. be Heisman Trophy winner Herschel Walker, but so much of his reputation, uh, Joe Mika, has been tarnished by this. And I think a lot of Republicans were willing, to, who saw his challenges, but were willing to hold their nose to vote for him if it meant the Senate majority, that is now gone. Uh, certainly Republicans I speak to say they've got enthusiasm issues in Georgia now ahead of the of that runoff six days out. Democrats feeling really good, particularly because we're seeing record early voting turnout numbers there. Mm -hmm.